Hello my dear friends, it's Gimart and welcome back to And today in this video we'll talk about Delves and I will try to show and explain everything you need to know about the Delves and the new stuff they added to. Information. Please disable your mods before entering Delves, mostly the clock mode, as it may block the new Delves interface. So, what are the Delves? Delves are something like an endless dungeon combined with geode caves, different biome styles, and sometimes shadow top bosses. Each delve is defined by depth. Depth is the difficulty level. The higher is the number, the stronger are the enemies, which means you will also have a bigger chance to get better loot, like the new level 4 crystal gear. If Frangis will bless you. And these dungeons are only endless if you complete the task's objective, which you can see in the top right corner, complete in a time limit. Then you will unlock an opportunity to fight the boss. And the boss fight is also time limited. If you do it all successfully, you see the key, the ready station to the next delve level or depth. Delves are supposed to be the Uber 11, yet they may also start at Uber 10 or Uber 9, or even lower, which means they're more for the end game players, but everyone can join them. And don't forget, like in Geo Topside, Light is the main stat, which will allow you to survive and do things. So, how to join Delves? In the hub we can see a new building, where you can find the public devs. Public means everyone can join, and the depth will be calculated from Trovian's average power rank. Yet mostly, lower power rank players will end up in quite high level devs. That's why I rather suggest to join or create private devs, as they start at lower depth and you can play with your friends. Private devs are like one-time portals which are crafted at the new Delve workbench. And there you'll notice a new crafting material needed, the Inert Geode. Inert Geode is a new non-tradable currency, which also is used as a crafting material and can be obtained only in Delves, from killing the mobs and from defeating the boss, then looting the treasure chest. Yet Inert Geode is limited, which I find a bit odd, we all will start with a limit of 600 pieces, and we can expand this limit to 800 by buying in a geode wallet from Roxanne, the merchant near the public devs, or from store for 1250 credits. There is also another wallet for an obsidian delver coin, which we can obtain from the budgets for doing 500 challenge devs. <laughs> oh my, <laughs> that might take time. Yet, it gives a way to obtain this butterfly mount later. <laughs> Delve Adventures Before entering the Delves, you can find this little fella near the public Delve portal, and he will have an adventure for you. Like going delving, defeating three bosses, donating inner geodes, and by completing the adventure, you will get experience and pressure lock Delver's cases. You can also get them from defeating the bosses and elves and looting the treasure chest. And these cages contain different crafting materials, allies, and even rare banners. You can check my video on opening some of them. Delves and mounts. In the public delves, you'll be free to use whatever mount, dragon, or wings you have. There are no limitations. Yet private and challenge devs are limited, and the mounts or wings you can use in private or challenge devs are the ones you can buy from the merchant for inner geode. The first two mounts are quite slow, till you combine them for mastery, and the third mount is a better option. The wings are also nice, yet if you don't want to be a slug, like Gameharder here, with my 40 movement speed. I suggest you reroll your gear to get more movement speed on it and be Sonic, sorry, faster. <laughs> when entering the delve, you see these stones. They show what buffs your enemies will have. 
which means some enemies will be easier to defeat and some might have high defense against your class. Also gives information if this delve has a shadow vault or not. And shadow vault means that there could be a shadow tower boss. So this stone with the blue cacti shows that. Delve objectives or tasks can be quite diverse, but mostly you will get these three. First one is to kill a number of mobs creatures. It can be from 15 to 150 and needs no explanation, I believe. The second one is to empty rooms of creatures. This one might be quite tricky because mobs can spawn also above or below you and a room is cleared only when you see a blue light and it appears blue on the navigation tab. And then we have an objective to defeat monoliths. Monoliths are not mobs. They are like cursed skulls, only in golden color and appear mostly each three rooms. Like cursed skulls, they will spawn mobs you need to kill. After clearing all of them, you see a blue light again. And I hope with time more Torians will recognize what the monoliths are, because so far, <laughs> especially in public devils, everyone keeps skipping them and rushing to the boss room. These three objectives are not the only ones. There are a few more interesting, like collecting the crystals, which sometimes can take even more time than clearing all the mobs, or to mine ores, which is done fast if you have the depth charge, or use your dragon in public battles. Sometimes you can also get a task to kill specific mobs, like here we need to kill some candy cornets. After you are done with the objectives, you can find the boss when you reach the boss liar room, or if someone reaches the first, you will get a teleportation invite, which is quite neat. There are different bosses, from pirates to dinos. Mostly they go with the style of the delve, like biome style. Sometimes you meet shadow tower bosses or levitians, and when you defeat them, you will not only get the treasure chest but also a shadow vault to open, for which you will need to craft a new keys, which you can craft also here in those. Buy shadow key mode workbench and use your old keys and fragments to make new Dao shadow keys. And speaking about shadow tower bosses, let me say the dead knot and time limit with his shield powers is pain. <laughs> Also, after defeating the boss, there is a possibility that merchants will appear. Some of them will sell you their recipes for inner geode. Some will sell more pressure locked devil cases. For yes, your inner geode. So buy something. Because you are limited on how much of inner geode you can carry. Don't forget that. Speaking about loot and especially crystal gear level 4, many say that there is a chance for it to drop after 115 depth in those. Many say it's after depth 110, but so far I have gotten mostly crystal gear level 1 and 2 and quite some stars. But I look forward to get some crystal gear level 4 and I believe time will tell what depth is better to farm. But remember, throw is RNG and your luck is a factor too. You know, there is another reason why delves are quite awesome. Because they give dragon egg fragments. <laughs> I have never ever in my life gotten a Kami dragon egg fragment. And I have already gotten a few here in those. Awesome. <laughs> and also the bee dragon egg fragments drop here quite sweet like honey. Hmm. Maybe I will craft a new dragon soon. Makes me really hopeful. Also Binding Darkness. I am getting Binding Darkness. Finally. I was never lucky to get it in Shadow Towers. But now Delves are providing me with it quite nicely. So finally I can roll my gems. Thank you Delves for that. And now about the new things we can get in Delves. Like Mementos. These are like memories about the monsters you defeated, I guess. <laughs> well, they are easy to miss in your inventory, because they might look like hats and also they expire. But when you learn them, they give mastery. 
that's it. <laughs> and you can collect quite a lot of them. So it's like a monster collection. Gotta catch them all. <laughs> Other things are the standards and bows. And oh boy, <laughs> you will get a lot of them. From them, you can make a banner, which will give you more light in those. Light is very important. And some other stat bonuses. To craft a banner, you will need a pole and a standard. But the banner you will get after crafting will be a banner of random quality. Like one can be common, other at the end, and give better stats. Here you can see some comparison. Again, RNG, again, throw. And of course, the devils are full with geo materials like plants and ores, crystals, and oh, <laughs> shadow shards. Now they are just like crystals, spawning in another place for you to pick them or vacuum them with a new module. Vacumatic It's a new module that you can craft in Module Workbench, which will vacuum all the crystals, shadow shards, and, well, enemies. So be careful with that if you are a more fragile class. But it's good for tanks, or if you are quite OP. And the vacuum attack can be upgraded to have more radius, or even to vacuum plants later on. Or oh, double crystals! Awesome! <laughs> and yes, you can use in geode caves too. Other useful items you can use in those are the depth charges, which are literally bombs. So you can mine ores, especially in private delves, because you can't use dragons there. And tracking potions, which let you see enemies through walls, so you can clear rooms and monoids better. You can get these two from the pressure lock devil's cases, or get crafting recipes from the merchant later on. About crafting, there are many allies you can craft, which will give you not only mastery, but also some light and some bonus stats. The better ally, the rare material it will use. But you can get the milk, kelps, and electric crystals from the elves or the pressure lock devil caches again. <laughs> yes, the caches are pretty OP. Hopefully, with time, I will get all of them and show them to you. And these are the devils, and most things you need to know about the update. If I miss something, write it in the comments, because there is a lot. <laughs> and most of it I touched only on the surface. Every time, I will make more videos explaining some of the things deeper. But for now, this is the video. <laughs> so have fun in those and throw. Thanks for watching. Would be awesome if you like. Till next time and to see.